Time has come to continue the greatness. Shout out to Tony the Tiger. Of the Wano anime. With episode 950, man. Let's get right into it. In three, two, one, let's jam. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Dude, what an exciting time, man. You know, my volume 95 just came in this morning. I'm not going to show it. Just in case there's any anime only is watching this video. Um, don't want to spoil you on the upcoming greatness, you know what I'm saying? Like, yo, <laughs> it's about to get, it's about to get serious. It's about to get serious. So, like, yeah, that came in this morning. And I haven't been able to stop thinking about, like, the fact that we're about to get you from 999. And then 1,000 directly after that. And it's like, dude, what a journey. Like, what a journey, bro, seriously. My goodness. It's like, because of the length of the series, no matter at one po at what point uh, that, that you hopped on, whether it be 15 years ago, 10 years ago, 5 years ago, yesterday, because of the length of the series, whenever you end up catching up, you feel like you've really gone on a journey with these characters. Like, you truly feel like you've gone on a journey. And uh, no matter how... Like I said, how long you've been with it. And so, like, this is going to be a really special occasion, man. Like, a really, really special occasion. Um, I know Shonen Jump themselves have something special planned, but... Like, just for us in the community, man, that's... It's going to be a really, really special week. Or, I shouldn't even say week, a couple weeks. Like, man, chapter 1000... I'm into a lot of long-running series, uh, like Hajime no Evo, Jojo, Detective Conan, you know, those series that have gotten to that, to, to that threshold. And all of their 1000s and beyond are really memorable, and have been really memorable so far, so like, I can't even imagine what the best-selling manga in history has in store. And then whenever we, whenever we get to episode 1000, I'm like, oh, that's gonna be crazy. Yo, this scene was done so well. So well. The music, the voice acting. Top notch. <gasps> that reminds me. They just put out the, the episode of Chopper, movie nine. For uh, finally, for us to own over here. I was like, yes. Like son, I am definitely gonna buy that on my phone and watch it on the TV. Have to. Like, dude, that movie is GOAT. And I'm a drum island tart, so like, you already know. You already know, that's gotta be watched. Like, man, that movie in movie six, their animation, like the, the, the art style is so cool. Like, I just, I really like the fluid type of animation style that both of them went for in, in those two movies. And, and movie nine just has some really, really nice sequences. We're just sitting there like, yo! In the emotional moments, like, I want to go back and watch that movie with you. Again. Got to. He's like, yo, I'll sign you to a, to a Supermax. You know what I'm saying?
Kid Greatness? Kid Greatness! <laughs> Yo! Mans is just using his ability and I feel like I'm watching Dragon Ball. <laughs> Look at the electricity, the arm, the detail. Yo, man, the thinking back to what took place, you know, when Kaido whooped him, he got betrayed that time, when what happened with Killer. He's taking all that rage out right here and now. It's a really cool shot. That's also a really cool shot. Yeah, the Luffy's anime, bro. Like, I'm trying to tell y'all, man. I'm so proud of them at Toei, man. Like, I really, really am. I'm genuinely proud that this is my favorite series, that my, my favorite series anime adaptation. Like, they've just been going in so hard. That's a wonderful... After this, I gotta take screenshots, dude. Some of these shots look brilliant. Look at that! Wow. And this man Ashura Doji had to live through all of those years. And Kaido's armor real deal came in like a group of Vikings and just started pillaging and poning everything inside, man. Look at that shot. My God. I feel like I'm watching a Xenogears cutscene. Goodness. You know, those words came from Nashida Doji's heart, man. Yo. He yelled Tsunachi, and I felt like he was doing a brain blast from Jimmy Neutron. I mean, now Jim was going through his nucleus. Ooh. Brain blast, dude.
And it must have pained him so much not being able to stop a single one of them, man. Wow, what a powerful shot that is, just with the the colors, the sound. Flagnards, dude. You can't do anything but cry. It's like when you see moments like this, you can really see why Ashura Doji reacted in the way that he did at the beginning of the arc. Dun, 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 dun. Oh. For the flower petals. Awesome Ghost of Tsushima pic the picture mode that they have in that game. Yeah, time has finally come. <laughs> They're like, yeah, we lived through all those years, dude. Got experience under our belt. <laughs> Yo, he is in the same tier, son. That man is also an emperor of the sea. Put some respect in my boy's name. Put some respect on it. That's right.
Prime Luby looks like he's melting. I mean, I wouldn't say all that right now, Tama. <laughs> exactly, Mobile's like, oh, he's barely breathing. That's our doctor. Yo, know that I see Kiku. Kiku's move set and power orders from what I saw in the trailer looks goat. Kiku looks like she might have the best move set in the game. Like, or at least one of them, because Yokata Kari's Katakuri's move set is right they're waiting for you out there man you're the son of odin you're your own man go out there and do it Just who do you think they're waiting for, bro? Yo, I wake up, Matsu. Holding this dry. Man, for so many of these people, that this must be the most unbelievable sight. Like, you know, living up to expectations like that is really hard, man. It really, really is. You know, some choose to run away and some step up to the plate.
and I still want the music. I'm turning up the volume. It's enough to bring tears to anyone's eyes, man. I can only imagine for those who, who live through it. Momo no skate greatness, bro. And I love it so much that Luffy was the one that gave him that final push as he's been doing this entire time. King recognize King. Go do your thing, Kawamatsu. Go do your thing. You know, Luffy's happy. That's all he's wanted to see. It's for him to grow into his own. What an episode, dude. God, the chills, the emotions, the way that everything was shown visually. I mean, seriously, this episode was top notch. And I know I feel like I sound like a broken record saying that, but this episode really was from a visual standpoint representing how it, like, it makes you feel certain things just based on the way that it looks. I mean, seriously, you know, some of those moments back in the Ashura Doji little flashback that he had to 10 years ago when, you know, showcasing how everything was in black and red and he's, you know, feeling despair as he's going out and looking out at all of them as they're yelling Sunachi and, you know, basically feeding themselves to the wolves over there. And it's like, flat darts, dude. I mean, the visuals were top notch. But it's time for 951. It's time for 951, man. Let's get right into it. Episode 951. I'm going to pause it for a little bit. Yeah, let's pause it. Make sure it buffers. <laughs> let's go. Yo, the title of the episode has me mad hyped. Orochi's hunting party, the ninja group versus Zoro. Okay. <laughs> Knowing what they've done with Zoro this entire arc, that means they're about to go in. That means they're about to go in this episode. You know what I'm saying. As they, as they have been doing the entire arc. Bumped. Yo, Momonosuke, yo, I'm telling you, man, Momonosuke's out here delivering speeches on some on some Shin stuff from Kingdom. Like, yo, it makes you want to go out and and fight for them, you know, like like my boy Ace. I miss Kingdom, you know. When I see speeches like that, and it reminds me of Kingdom. I'm like, man, I really miss it. And um, it's one of those things that I like to read and, and binge, especially on the channel. Uh, but I need to get back to that because I have been missing it. I think that's good enough. If anything, we'll pause it in the middle and get right back to it. Here we go, episode 951. Three, two, one, let's jam. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Alright, I think we should be good. Yeah, actually, now this opening is playing. Let me. I haven't logged into Treasure Cruise today. Let's log in right quick. But yeah, like I was talking about earlier with Kiku. So they're adding Kiku, 
Kinemon, Odin, and who else is in that pack? Or is it just those three? I don't remember. But regardless, they all look amazing. Let's hope my internet can keep up with this greatness. <laughs> it's like I watch this episode. Bro, why is Treasure Cruise taking 50? Is this why this thing is buffering so so slow? Because I'm downloading this thing on Treasure Cruise? I just screwed myself over. That's definitely what it is. You know what? Taking it off the Wi-Fi, putting it on my data. See, now it's buffering better. That's going to take 50 years for this thing to download, but it's all good. By the time it finishes downloading, I'll, uh, maybe the episode will be over. Man, this soundtrack went in hard for Momonosuke's speech. Talk to him, Momonosuke. Talk to him. Oh, God. See? Just by that, you're, you're immediately able to be like, yo, this is about to head different. Zoro Brayton is it covered. There's Yori. Top one ship in Wano. Yori and Zoro. This man, Zoro, took two fully grown human beings and with one slap of his blade, slid a boy! Pwned? Pwned. Pwned. Let's go, dude. Man, it's broke out in the lightning. Here we go. The purple aura. A clash of swings. Or of aura coming out of the swing. He arm and hockey's up. Hmm.
Dang. That was a strong kick. Look at that stance. The golden aura coming out, the red eye, the whoosh, and then the ching. Zoro greatness. That was filthy. Yukimaru. Real. You know, knowing how much he already cares about Toko and constantly thinking about her like, man, her pops just died in the manner that he just died. That was such an emotional episode, bro. They handled that perfectly. Zara's like, yo, don't worry about it. She's with my crew. My God, dude, this lighting is incredible. Put some respect on Law's name, man. The man Law is struggling.
That's the sound that I made whenever Cold Steel 4 came out. <laughs> when it hit 12 o'clock that night. Well, no, not, not, that's not true. I couldn't even play the game until like the following day. Because of the digital edition problem, but... Sangoro. Shinobu. <laughs> I love how Sanji said that with like the biggest smile on his face. Like, yeah, we're outlaws. I love that shot. That man got poked in the eye <laughs> with that stick. The art in this episode, bro. Wow. Like, you really get to notice just how incredible it is whenever it does close-ups into the characters' faces, specifically the characters that we know. Like, the close-ups on, on Hiyori and Zoro and now with Shinobu and Sanji. It's like, wow, bro. Fire Festival. That looks amazing. With like the night, the night type of aesthetic to it. It looks really, really cool. Oh, yeah, that's a... Hold on. 1342? I gotta come back to that. I, I, gotta, I gotta take a picture of that, dude. Screenshot. Are you feeling this pain? What a shot that is. Like, whenever we went over and we saw the heartbeat, we were like, what is going on? And it zoomed uh, out a little bit to show Luffy's face. Like, whoa. Like, I remember whenever they... They really, really made you feel Luffy's pain back in Impel Down. Remember that? Oof. Or in the anime, hearing the screeching and the, the yelling, the voice acting. Like, goodness gracious. See? This man's going through so much pain, dude. Feed my man. Man, sounds like he has a monster in there. <laughs> Feed my boy. <laughs> Kiwi dongos?
<laughs> He's revived, yeah. He's ready to go in. He better be waiting for him. Because hands are about to be thrown. Beppo. <laughs> Yo, look at Nami, bro. Wife Sama. Looking good. Give me one second. About that, man. We continue 1643. Three, two, one. Let's jam. Wait, like I said, yo, my girl know me looking right. Feel bad for Beppo, man. He can't do anything in this situation, and I bet he must feel responsible because they are the whole reason why Law's in in the first place. Because Law would never do anything to hurt his crew, and Hawkins took advantage of that, you know. So it's like he must feel super responsible, both him and Shashi, and it's like, yo, they. It's a filthy line. It's like, yo, I, res I respect Hawkins for the manner in which he does it, but at the same time, because of of the love that we have for, for Law and his crew, it's like, what a flagnard. You know? For his henchman's blunder. And then he walks down and he sees him. The bargaining chip is your lives. Can you imagine being told that? Like whenever you're getting out of a situation, like yo, the bargaining chip here is your life, bro. Your life. I always love the way that um that they show Hawkins fruit in the anime. That always looks super cool.
Man, the reflection in the eye. Wow. Our captain's life is more important than Kenny Moan's plan. Poor Law, bro. Then you got Drake there. Dude, it's like knowing all this with context is so crazy to me, dude. Excuse me. Man, this man Law looks like he just fought Goku on Namek for months. Look at him. The panel. Here we go. The panel. Just a smile. Yo, I gotta get going. Awesome episodes. I, I need to take some screenshots later of this episode in particular, man. It's like, yo, I was really impressed last episode by the visuals, but this one in terms of the character art, like, yo. But yo, yeah, I gotta get going. I'll see y'all next time. We'll be great, bro. <laughs>